Hi, I am Gon, I am Spanish, and right now I'm 24, and I'm studying environmental science here in Nürnberg. Hi, I'm Nathalie Rubinstein, I'm 18 years old, and I'm from Germany, and I study psychology right now. Hi, I'm Lola, I'm 21, I study geography, and I'm from Northern Italy. Hello, my name is Anaëlle, and I'm 22, I'm French, and I study biology. Hi, uh, my name is Marius. I come from Albania. I'm 25 years old and I study plant breeding and genetics. Hi, uh, <laughs> uh, my name is Eileen. I study economics in Würzburg. So I'm from Germany. I'm 24 years old. Hey, um, I'm Zita. I'm from Germany and I'm 21 years old. Actually, I will turn 22 in 10 days. Um, and I study philosophy and business. Hey, it's Sunny. <laughs> okay, um, my name is Paula. I am 24 years old and I come from Germany where I study in Innsbruck normally in Austria and I study sociology. Yes, I did. I was the last one of my friends to actually go on an exchange. So I, everyone had a great time wherever they went, so my expectations were pretty high. Okay, and do you think your time here lived up to those expectations? Yes, absolutely. They've been exceeded in every way possible. Oh yeah, I had a lot of expectations, but they were completely different from what I got in the end. Because I expected to be in my room a lot because it was too cold and there was nothing happening because of Covid. But in the end it turned out the complete other way like I expected that I would read a lot for example because yeah. I would have the time and in the end I didn't read one book <laughs> okay yeah that's understandable good question um, yeah sure I mean regarding what your whole experience here mm, I was a little unsure because of COVID so I didn't know how social it was gonna be how many people I was able to was gonna be able to meet um, how classes were going to be. I was a little afraid that everything was going to be online and that I probably didn't meet people. But I was hoping for nice Swedish people. Mm. I had heard that a lot of Swedes aren't that like socially welcoming. Nice, but not like outgoing that way. Um, but for the rest, I don't know. I had hoped for a very beautiful country and I got what I expected. I hoped for an awesome winter with a lot of snow, which it was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not much. I would say maybe uh, I expected to be closer to the nature. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was the best place, I think, to have that. And also I wanted to experience the real winter. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, Sweden is a perfect country for that, so... Uh, well, I would say no, really, because uh, I didn't have too much information about this city and about the structure and how it's organized here, but it turned out to be quite positive, as I met a lot of people and the environment is quite good for a student uh, to learn something new or to have fun, so it was worth it. Uh, not really. Um, I wanted to see the nature. I was hoping to find find friends, um, but no, I was not not really expecting something. I was like the Swedish cliches, of course, like seeing a moose, going for some, like, going for a nice hike, having a lot of snow and mm. everything. But I did not expect much about my daily life here. Honestly, okay. it was just yeah, just trying what will happen. Yeah, like a big surprise. Yeah, sort of. Okay, nice. Um, in some ways, yes. I mean, I when before I came here, I checked the whole city uh, on Google Maps. I checked the university and surrounding, and I kind of had an expectation of how it will look here. Um, but of course, I didn't really have an expectation of how the life here will be, because also, I don't know, like the situation before I came here was very uncertain, also because mm. of Corona. And I didn't even know if it will be worse, if it will be better, if you're able to, I don't know, to even meet people. Because yeah. in Germany at the time, before I came here, it was not possible. 
so it was very very uncertain and for me I just because I knew that the um, that the restrictions were not so high here as in Germany mm -hmm. and that was like the only thing that I, that I knew and I was really looking forward to have more of a normal life and just to be able to go to cafes and stuff yeah. um, and this was was really what I was looking forward but other than that I was yeah I think I was just open to the experience and I, I just wanted to yeah let it flow and see see what comes my way um, yeah and of course <laughs> uh, like I, I had expectations of very uh, of very extreme weather conditions yeah. and they <laughs> were definitely being met um, it was so cold when yeah. I came here it was like I think it was minus 25 degrees mm. actually when when the day when I came here and I had it in my mind but I didn't know that it will be that extreme like when you when you see it and when you experience it it's it's yeah. it's a different thing yeah, um, that's true. Mm. I would love to say no, probably. Mm. Like, no, I had no expectations. But uh, I guess I kind of really hope to get to know more people and, you know, just meet like amazing people. Because sometimes, you know, when you're at the place, you'll be like, where is the people, especially mm. after Corona. So I was just really hoping for that. But at the same time, I know there was Corona. So I was like, I guess I'm gonna be alone a lot, mm -hmm. and also I wanted to be alone, but that only was for like the first one or two months, and then I, yeah, met people, so... <laughs> so I guess it lived up to your expectations? Mm, yeah, I, I mean, really I had actually little expectations, but um, in the end, uh, it was actually over my expectations, like, okay. I, there was so much more to come that I did not expect, and... Uh, yeah, yeah, I really didn't know anything about Sweden, Sweden also before, mm. and yeah, so it really went over my expectations, I guess. Um, well, I guess the independency, the being able to live on your own without any attachments, it's it's quite freeing and a quite. Um, maturing experience, I'd say, that I'll get for the future. Okay. Did you experience anything similar to Erasmus Exchange before? Yeah, when I was, right when I finished high school, I worked a year abroad, but it wasn't the same because I had more responsibilities here. Okay. You're, you're more free. All right. Uh, I think for me, there has been a lot of stuff happening. I feel way more mature now. And I also feel way more self-confident because I feel like you need to change to go to a country that is like far away and then you're completely on your own and like especially that I'm so young, 18, this was the first time I ever did this mm -hmm. and I feel like it helped me a lot in trusting that whatever situation is gonna come, I can handle it. Yeah. I think yeah. that's like the biggest thing that happened. Hmm. I don't think I've ever been away from home for this long. No, I, I know I've not been away from yeah. home this long ever. So it was definitely a sense of independence mm -hmm. and a sense of, okay, it's hard. I feel homesick at times, but I can do it. I can manage. I'm an adult. Yeah. <laughs> I can live on my own. I can make my own social group without any background because I think that was one of the hardest things that you and everyone else also, like not just me, but everyone in, as an Erasmus student, you come here without everything. There is no family in the back, mm. there is no friend system, there is nothing. You come here into cold water without yeah. anyone. And so everyone has 100% of their free time, of their energy to give to new people. And I think that definitely taught me how to just indulge myself in that, how to, to go in, take it all and not like hesitate because there is no one that you need to save some time for. You just, there is no other reason. And I mean, yeah. the way I saw Erasmus from the beginning was, I don't want to come here just for studies. I want to come here for the social experience, for yeah. the time that I get. I'm young now. I don't have any responsibilities for anyone. Um, using Erasmus money, I'm also in like money freedom right now. So I could just take this time to enjoy life yeah. and actually live without having to think about all the 
study work I have to do, all the deadlines I have to get. I mean, I still did uni work, but for the most part, I enjoyed living much more than I had been for a few years. Because you always run after some deadline, some assignment, something. And here I was just like, well, it's nice. People are nice. I've got time. There is no, not as much pressure. Yeah. So I enjoyed this feeling of, I can be myself without having to fulfill something yeah i can just live and i can just be and i think that's definitely something that i did embrace more i wouldn't say i'm there yet yes <laughs> there is always background noise in my head yeah. but that's definitely something i did learn i mean you also get so many inputs from so many different people mm -hmm. the way that the international community is shaped here yeah. there are so many people from so many different spaces and if you try not to stick to your national group then you can get so much cultural input, language, food. <laughs> it's just a very, very open community. And I think that's always memories that you take from it. And I got awesome friends. Like yeah. That's definitely something that helps me grow. If you, I don't know, I believe in shared energy. Yeah. And if you get awesome energy from people, that makes your energy better too. Yes. So I think I grew in that regard as well. Very beautiful. I think so many people could relate with you on this point. Yeah. I mean, it's all just a system of caring and sharing. Yeah. And people that go on an Erasmus usually do it for the social events, yeah. for the intercultural relations. Yeah. And if you indulge in that, if you really embrace it, it's the best you can do. Nice. It's really nice, yeah. Mm, I think maybe being uh, more confident uh, because here you really have to like meet a lot of people so you make new friends and you know a lot of people so yeah I think I have more confidence now because of that yes yeah oh, overall it, uh, it helped me uh, to get a lot of knowledge about related to, to, to the latest techniques that are being used in my domain and this will help me a lot in my professional career. So this is it. Uh, I would say um, first that I have now a lot of friends from everywhere. That's really mm -hmm. nice. I would say that's the most valuable because yeah, like uh, of course the sweet like you, the Swedish buddies, <laughs> <laughs> and also from everywhere around Europe, like Spanish people, French people, mm -hmm. um, Czech people, uh, Netherlands, so yeah, a lot of people from a lot of different countries yeah. and it's very nice. It is indeed very beautiful to have so many contacts from everywhere. Yeah, and also so many different impressions then, like we were watching ice hockey games yeah. with Czech against Switzerland with Czech people and Swiss people and Finland against Germany with a Finnish guy and mm. everything. <laughs> it was very nice. Um, I think I was... Um, able to clarify my values here mm. more because I'm I'm very I'm a very sensitive person and I'm also very sensitive to other people's vibes and other people's opinions mm. and I don't know I, I consider it a lot and just leaving my bubble and leaving all that I was used to helped me to concentrate on myself and to um, yeah to just really think of what is it what I want to do? What is it what I want to achieve? And I, I had a lot of, um, yeah, I mean, I, I met a lot of people and I, 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 I got very, uh, a lot of new impulses that helped me to, um, to know like where I want to go in life and also, um, f also my acad academic kind mm. of life because I, I, that was, a little bit what I struggled before I came here that I really didn't have a clue what I what I want to do and like the courses here and also the conversations that I had really helped me to uh, to know like what I what I want to do like in, in life or in academic life to to help people and to improve like the inequalities in the world and mm. stuff like that this was really um, yeah, it had a huge impact on me. Mm. I guess on my personal level, I would say that it really helped me to kind of 
find like did I kind of find myself again a little bit more like I had some really rough month before I came here and when I came here as I said I was alone for a long time just also because I wanted to and then I really came back to myself mm -hmm. I I met some amazing people that also helped me and it's just like uh, on a personal level I started to review more I started to journal again like really like mm. kind of almost every day I stopped for the last three weeks but it's okay <laughs> I will go back to it yeah so I make so many experiences that I have in my memories now and I just on a personal level really like started to take more care of myself again mm. and yeah that's a beautiful habit to have excellent work <laughs> Well, <laughs> I learned that you really have to get a good job if you want to live in Sweden. And that, I don't know, in my personal experience, at least try to find as many homes throughout Europe as possible. Uh, I learned that even if you feel like you shouldn't do something, in the long run, it's better to do it. Okay. Like, they, you regret stuff more for not doing it than for doing it. Like, if there is an opportunity, people want to spontaneously go night swimming in the lake, go for it. <laughs> if you're like at a party and you feel like, ah, should I dance? Dance. Talk to people. Just go up to them. I feel like uh, that's something I learned here, that in the end, you regret it if you don't do it. But if you do it, it's awesome memories. Mm. Swedish fika. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious, huh? Yeah, it's a real tradition here. So you have different pastries. So if you come to Sweden, you have to try all of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. amazing. Um, yeah, so something people who want to come here should be prepared of is uh, to get along with the sleeping disorders because if you come in the spring semester, uh, the day becomes so long that you, you can't really sleep at night because of the light, so you have to take some measures about this. This was uh, one challenge I had to go through. Um, I would also say like this experience with uh, a lot of international people mm. that I would, yeah, I would recommend everyone to do that because normally you don't do it to that extent. Mm. And yeah, what like I did not. I would not say it's learned, but making this experience to be away and to just be yourself without any influence mm -hmm. and just, yeah, find out yourself what you like and just start, yeah, start a completely new life and just see, yeah, yeah, just make all these experiences and then see what, what you like from from home, what, um, yeah, making experiences that you've never done. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a self-discovery trip, maybe. Yeah, exactly, because because you're away. Yeah. Like at home you have the influence from everyone, so mm -hmm. I've done some things I had never done at home. Mm. Just because I was by myself and I, I yeah, had other friends of course, other environment and everything. Mm. <clears throat> I think for me it's just doing what you what you want and not mm -hmm. doing what everyone else is doing and not comparing your life or your position where you stand in life to others because everyone is at a different different time in their life mm -hmm. and everyone has something else to uh, to learn and to complete at this specific time and you yeah you should just fuck society mm -hmm. and just <laughs> just do what 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 is the best for you and um, yeah make yourself a priority um, that's something that I can give out to the world. Yeah. Something new. I got a new hobbies. <laughs> I <laughs> learned nice. I learned snowboarding with Paula. She taught me. Um, I also started climbing mm. uh, at Ixu, um, and I will definitely continue to do it because I really love it. Um, something new. I think it was. It's more that I maybe refound some some uh, sides of my mm -hmm. personality because yeah I was a little bit stuck at home and I I don't know I was just living in my bubble and I was adapting to people a lot and I think that some 
parts that were maybe missing or that that were gone on the way of life i i, I think I, i just found some some parts of myself again um and yeah i realized that life's great <laughs> i don't know yeah. something new something new maybe i got to know myself even better because when you live in a new place in general like and like like just start off your everyday life in a whole new place even a new country mm -hmm. then you kind of and also if it is time so in five months now I, now i know like it sounds stupid maybe but now i know how much kind of food i need in five months mm -hmm. how much uh washing yeah. <laughs> stuff i need in five months everything is time so you yeah. have like the, it's more timed in a way that you know, okay, this was now one month, this was now two months, because there is an end to a certain yeah. amount of time. So it kind of really, you really can phrase it in your, yeah. phrase it, like put it, it in your mind. Scale. Better. Yeah, yeah. It scale it better. And yeah, that there is people who care about you. Okay, that's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's what I learned again. That there's really, truly people who care. Yeah. It's really nice feeling. Mm -hmm. It is indeed, and, and you, it's yeah. So... You can trust in people. Mm -hmm. I I mean I I am that person that really trusts in people in general. But here I really got to know, like not many. It's just like a couple of fans of people, you know, yeah. like a couple of fans. One like it's just few people, but it's so nice to see that you, everywhere in the world you can meet people that you connect to and mm -hmm. really have a connection, and it's really nice. Whew. I'd say maybe the first month of actual snow. That was the first time in my life that I saw that much snow. Okay. Almost the first time in my life that I saw snow. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, it was it was quite magical. The first few months you heard about it during like you arrive here in August, they they keep telling you about how magical and how fantastic the snow is in, in early November, but you have to be there to see it, and it was All awesome. Right. Nice one. Oh, that's interesting. I feel like from a psychological perspective, the beginning was the most interesting because coming in a new group of people, like everybody's still finding friends, friendships, relationships, like it's all building. Mm. And then, yeah, I feel like that was the most interesting phase because then everything set a little bit. Uh, and in the beginning, I was so nervous, yeah. but it got better and better. And then at one point, it became like a daily habit thing. And that's when it started to really be fun. I feel like that's like maybe after the first month here, you start to relax, you have your friends, but everything's not as settled as it would be mm. at home. Yes. And that's it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it has its ups and downs as everything has. I mean after coming here the first few days were fire. It was just explosion of I'll do this, I'm do this, I do that, I see this person, I meet that person, I, I whoa fuck so much so many experiences so many people and then after that i fell into a little bit of a hole because it just hit me shit i'm so far away from home i'm so mm. far away from my family from all of my friends and there is no option of just driving home for the weekend yeah. you're gone <laughs> you're gone <laughs> um so i had to take a breather for a while to get adjusted to get into it but since then it's been pretty much high fly especially the last few weeks knowing that i'll leave soon I've been indulging in it very much. Just mm. the feeling of, whoa, I'm here. The weather is awesome. Yeah. People are so nice. And right now, I feel like I'm so... The friendships, of course, friendships have to grow. But here, they grew so much more quickly because of all the... Like I said before, all the energy that you can put into it. Mm. There is no backholding. You're just there and you give it all and other people give it all as well. So after a year, it feels like friendships have been lasting much longer. So I don't know, I really, really love it right now. But I've, I think I've loved every part of it. The winter was awesome. Like mm. in January when I came back after Christmas break and there was so much snow. <laughs> yeah. It's been very, very, very nice. Okay. I don't know. There's like many favorite memories. Swimming at the lake at <laughs> three in the morning. <laughs> Jumping out of the window into knee high snow and then <laughs> climbing up snow mountains just because yeah. you can doing fondue with cheese sent from france just because why not yeah it's 
like it's all just a merge of nice people, nice food, good memories, oh, beautiful nature. Nice, it's, nice. It's been it's been a high flying ride. That's beautiful. Um, hmm, I have a lot. I mean, it's beautiful all all the time. Um, I especially love the autumn because of the colors. Uh, the trees are orange and yellow. It's beautiful when you hike. Mm. And also winter, like around maybe January, because mm. everything is frozen and white. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Uh, and you can ski on the lake, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> and also spring, summer. It's beautiful because you can just be out there yeah. <laughs> in yeah, t-shirt, <laughs> which is really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, especially after a long winter. Oh yeah, it feels <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, the, the most magnif magnificent uh, part of uh, my exchange here was uh, the nature around this city. Uh, it was so wonderful and it's so different from the other parts of Europe and the world as well. So, yeah, I think it's a must to come and enjoy it and live it. Um, I've, Helen has also asked that to me and I've been okay. thinking a lot about that. And I think it was the first time when we were ice swimming. Mm. Because, yeah, I had not expected that. Like afterwards we did a lot of things that I had never expected to mm -hmm. do, but that was the first thing. And yeah, I would say the most special thing. Like I also love, I loved almost, I loved everything that we've done. Mm. Like the beach volleyball games every week and uh, going, going hiking here now in the summer and everything. But I think ice swimming was the first special experience that I've made. Mm, definitely the last weeks. Okay. Um, the beginning also because everything was so new and mm. everything was was an adventure and everything was exciting mm. to see. Um, but yeah, during the semester I was also a little bit stressed about university, and um, yeah, when I when when all the exams were over, I just realized that a lot of stress fall down mm. on me, and the weather got nice. So yeah. You could spend a lot of time outside and uh, I also spent more time with people because at the beginning I I was a little bit, I think I isolated myself a little mm. bit because I was just yeah having a lot of stuff to process in my mind. Um, but yeah, the last weeks were just so, so easy flowing and um, yeah, just being outside, uh, spending time in the nature with people, I think was my, was my yeah, favorite period. <laughs> Again, for me it's the people, really. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I I always say I can be anywhere, but if I meet... I mean, okay, I can also be alone, of course, and mm -hmm. enjoy the place, but for me I make great memories with great people. Yeah. So for me it's really the people I've met here and had m we had many nice experiences. And it's also the little stuff, like mm -hmm. small things that happen and yeah. So I cannot put it down to one thing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much for interviewing me. <laughs> no worries. Thank you so much Thank for you. taking part with this. Of course. I loved it. <laughs> um, thank you so much for taking part with this. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you so much, man. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for taking part in, in this. Yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> you too for letting me be part of it. <laughs> of course. Thank you so much for taking part of this. Thank you, Sally, for doing this. I think it's really, really nice. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for taking part in this. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> thank you, Sally, for making this. <laughs>